<laughs> out here in Woodville slash Shelly area. Uh, that's the front parking. That's, there's a garage on the end of it and the shop as well. Um, I'll go out there in a minute, but property basically goes to that fence. I'm standing at the front door. Um, it's the middle of a cul-de-sac. As you walk in, well, first of all, there's double doors. Nice front entry, covered. You got an upstairs staircase with a catwalk. Nice chandelier, very tall ceilings. To the right, you got an office space. So basically everything in this home has a lot of windows from the bedrooms, this office. And then he said that grain uh, silo right there is actually just past the property line. So, I mean, he knows the neighbors, but that is actually technically uh, on the neighbor's property. And you got a little wrap around there for the river. And I just, oh, I wanted to mention that there's no lights on currently, so everything we're uh, five o'clock in the evening, starting to get dark, and everything's all natural light. There's a few spots, you know, on different spots for carpet wear and tear, and a couple things on like the baseboard, that type of thing with the, the dogs, but um, nothing too horrible. So nice wide open <laughs> space. Hi guys. <laughs> so note the windows are basically floor to ceiling with a nice view. Yeah. And the wrap around there. Sorry. You might want to tell them there's great fishing out there, six foot sturgeon all the time. All yeah. the time. I catch lots of sturgeon out there. And this is lots Holland, the, the owner here. He got some built-ins. Uh, looks like this is a see-through to the office no, there. No, a fish tank. Fish tank. But we use, it for it for, we use it for an terrarium most of the time. We don't put water in it. We just be able to put the seasons. She's oh, a great yeah, decorator, yeah. so it would be Christmas or... Mm -hmm. oh, that's or a display case, maybe. Or, uh, yeah. Easter or Thanksgiving or whatever the season was. That's, she would build all the, the scenery in there. Oh, and and this is gas, not propane, right? There's a gas line out here. Yeah, Natural no, gas. This is propane. It is propane. Until, until gas gets here, it's propane. Okay. I was just curious on that too. There's a built-in. Just sit up here. And your dining area here. So I'll show you the upstairs um, here in a minute as well, but the downstairs I will not be able to go into today. So you have the gas cooktop, KitchenAid, KitchenAid with the matching cabinets. He had mentioned uh, possibly painting these cabinets along with flooring and that type of thing. So that's the stuff that he's talking about, possibly updating. And that's a matching uh, dishwasher. The sink. And I'll show you the master. Well, I'll show you the pantry first and then the master. So they wanted, the wife wanted a old kind of farmhouse style. Um, specifically wanted creaky wood flooring. So again, no, I mean, that's a pantry with no light on. So smaller double doors, but double doors to the master bedroom. So, Probably the best spot to put your bed. Um, that looks like a queen size, I believe, there. And your view over the river. He 
you have some built-ins there. I guess I can pop that open. And walk into the master bath here. You have a fairly wide um, Jetta tub, a little partial wall for privacy from the toilet. You have a single sink vanity with some extra shelving up high. And your toilet has a pocket door and your shower. So overhead. So you have the master bedroom and that office on the main. And then the rest of the bedrooms will be upstairs or downstairs. Um, I believe there's four upstairs. Down here you have um, a slide for the kids that goes downstairs. He said it makes, I think, two and a half turns. Uh, just extra storage up here. Looks like a built-in ironing board. Your washer and dryer hookups. Extra storage, little broom closet, so kind of in off the garage storage or you can use it as your uh, craft space, you got the extra sink for your laundry, folding table, nice windows again looking out front. Uh, another access from the front powder room. This is one access upstairs. And over there is another access to the upstairs and to the downstairs. So there's two cars attached. And then the detached shop, you got your central vac there. You can see the mountains that direction. So you have one bedroom over on this side and I think three on the other. A little built in. Linen closet there. Lots of windows in this bedroom. A little built in there.
So furnace here, there's a separate one for the basement, the water heater. little kitchenette not a very big sink for doing dishes but you have your hookups here that's what it's set up for little mother-in-law suite your bedroom here or sorry bathroom here turn this slide on and that's just a little salon sink and the private toilet. So there's an access over on that side of the kitchen and then there's one to this bedroom. Sure. Dock. I, I don't know if I noted this, but you know you have a bridge and a road right there, and across the river looks like a little bit of people over there, but not a ton. Closet. So there's two doors in this room that goes into the hallway that went there by the bathroom. And then I'll just point out that was kitchen there. Another bedroom. Note, uh, looks like the propane tank is down there. Closet. So you have another bathroom. Looks like there used to be a door here, but they just took it off and you're Shower tub combo. Looks like a couple little things. And this is the largest bedroom. You got some built ins here. Again, probably a queen size bed fireplace so he said property boundary is approximately that tree and goes out there um, maybe you can see that property marker right there for that boundary and then it goes down to the river for this side closet here And then this
this goes down to the garage And then this one went down um, by the laundry and garage entrance right there. So again, can't make it to the basement today, um, but that gets you started. And I'll show you some of the outside as well.